They sent a $25,000 check to state planning and said, we want everybody, every state in the nation to have an arts agency. And so that's how it started. My sister worked for the University at Vermilion. She saw this article in the paper in the Argus and said they're looking for a director of an arts council. Charlotte, that is the perfect job for you. Apply. It was in my husband's store. Uh, the, he had had a millinery shop up in the front of his store, and I said, well, that's just enough space for me for a typewriter and a desk and a file, that's all I need. So anyway, that's how it started. I wanted to recognize artists. I wanted to have South Dakota have artists like Jackson Pollock in Wyoming. You know, somebody that was famous in the arts in South Dakota. I think my goals as an artist has been to start small and to kind of work my way up worldwide. And it's always nice to be able to come home to the heart of where I grew up to be able to share that. I would say at least, you know, the area that I'm most familiar with here in, in Western South Dakota, there's a real strong group of artists that have been around for a long time. I moved to South Dakota in 96. And I think it was 98 that I started working as a visiting artist. I started doing residencies as soon as I was out of college. And it was just a few a year in the beginning and it's grown into something that's like a regular part of what I, about what I do in my cycle throughout the year. Being an artist in South Dakota is important. And whether you stay here or you leave, doesn't matter. But if somehow you've learned something from being an artist physically here, it's the frontier. It's like one of the, the last pieces of virgin territory in the U.S. And there are places that you can step in that may have never been stepped on before. Me being able to join with the South Dakota Arts Council and be able to work with them is, is such a great step for me to take. I spent some years mending my own hoop, so to speak, and it gave me a, the Arts Council gave me a platform to continue the healing myself and dancing and being a role model and how to take responsibility for your own brokenness. I've done, I don't know, 800 weeks or maybe a little more, going into schools and communities, working with all different ages of people on many different media. It's just been a real lush, diverse experience for me and I think for the people that I've worked with too. It's hard to say no. Um, you develop relationships with people uh, and, and institutions like this. Part of the Arts Council's aim is to demonstrate value. And I, I feel like as, through programs um, such as the Artists in the Schools and Communities program, and Touring Artists program, you have an opportunity to bring art into those small communities and show people how it can improve their lives. I think what the Arts Council does is it brings art to the audience, essentially. That's what we do. We help fund artists, we help facilitate their work so that more people can see it the more people can enjoy it. You know, the last seven generations have had it really rough amongst our people. Stars representing the next seven generations. My job here, as I see it, is to build a skill set for other artists, the Susie Kappa artists, so that they can tell their story, so that their imagination finds more full expression. And I'm pretty moved by that whole idea. <laughs> more than I think sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah, it is an amazing place where amazing things happen for people that not necessarily amazing things happen for. When you pull somebody in for the first time and really affect them, give them a positive experience, you're showing them that this is adding value to your life. You, you know, that South Dakota is a place where you can get great art too. You can experience great art right here. In South Dakota, we have a gift that has been given to us, and that gift is the landscape itself. And it, I think it nourishes and it fuels, and it's something that a lot of people don't get. And, and that's, why, that's why I'm here.